right guys, Brandon from Retro Spectrum here with Jason, one of the chefs here at the Oblivion Tap Room. And not only that, I've heard that you are a Star Wars expert. Oh, uh, you know, I watch it every time I'm not working, which is never. Okay, well there you go, because you're always working, creating these amazing dishes at Oblivion. What are you cooking up for the Star Wars event today? What are some uh, of the dishes? Today we're doing, uh, I'm going to show you two of them. Okay, uh, cool. We're doing an uh, appetizer, we're calling them TIE Sliders. TIE Sliders, named after the... TIE Fighter, which is a spaceship. Uh, I knew he knew that one. So, it's a two ounce patties. Uh, we get this uh, awesome meat from Buckhead Beef. It's okay, cool. a blend of short rib, uh, spare rib, and ground chuck. Ooh. Just throw it on the flat. And we're going to just cook these up to medium. That's marinated in our house teriyaki sauce. Okay. So you, you got the meat on there, and then you put the buns on there to toast for a little while. Yes. How long would you say all that stuff goes on there for? About four minutes. Okay, cool. Now you guys are used to making some of the largest burgers I've ever seen. Um, so for you to make a slider, is that a little bit of a, uh, any type of challenge there for you? Uh, no, not really. Uh, we're actually doing it for this event because we're thinking about uh, we got a new menu coming up soon. Okay, cool. And uh, so it's kind of like a, a trial. How, of, thing, you know? how often do you guys play around with your menu? You guys are uh, known for kind of like playing around. Some, Besides quarterly. quarterly. Quarterly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around. That's one of the nice things about coming out here is that you guys always seem to have something new to try. If it's not the events themselves, if you come out here at any given point in time, the menu's probably had a little bit of an overhaul since the last time we've been here. And also with all the events we do, that gives us a chance to do specials, you know, straight away yeah. from the menu. Yeah, yeah. Is there a particular event that was like the coolest event for you to participate in? I would say, uh, like, uh, our last brunch uh, was the busiest day we've ever had since we opened. Yeah. Awesome. The 420 brunch. Matter of fact, they got, a ghost, yeah. they got a Ghostbuster brunch coming up. You are a fan of Ghostbusters. That'll be fun. Yeah. That one's going to be fun. Okay, yeah. cool. Look, look out for the uh, green bacon gravy. Hey, do you remember when we were kids, when Ghostbusters was really big, and they had high C extra cooler? Yes, I do. You remember High Sea Active Cooler? That shit was good, right? All right, so they're coming out now. They're looking beautiful. Coke medium. So this is the beautiful part. Whenever we get to come here, is you get to see the lineup of, of stuff. Because um, they always have really, you always have very interesting like uh, toppings and additives. You can see in here we got the cheese, we got the meats, we got the hummus, um, we got the slaw. Um, and again, many of these ingredients you put together yourself. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, in -house. so most this, of what you're seeing here is in-house. This here, this is our sweet pie chili slaw. Awesome. Slap that on there. What are some of the ingredients in the slaw? This is cabbage, carrots, green onions, and sweet Thai chili sauce. Sweet Thai chili sauce. So the idea here is that the sweet Thai chili sauce is going to work with the teriyaki. Exactly. And make it Thai. This already looks beautiful, by the way. I, I do need to say, state that this already looks totally amazing. Let's lay down some uh, crispy onions real quick. Put it on top of that and give it a little bit of a crunch. Give it some bite. That way you get a little bit of texture on it. Now, going back to the idea, you talked a lot about the burgers. You know, you guys make a lot of different types of, types of burgers. What's the most interesting burger you've ever made here? Uh, probably uh, one of the one of my favorites is the uh, the samurai. I like the, the samurai. samurai. What are the yeah. ingredients in that? One? It's a uh, again like this. It's a uh, teriyaki uh, marinated burger. Okay. Uh, leaf lettuce and then. Uh, uh, slaw with uh, like an Asian uh, infused dressing. Cool, cool. And, uh, and then also a wasabi aioli. So it's got it's got some nice components in there. So it's it's a little sweet, a little hot. Are you a big fan of that Eastern influence when it comes to uh, these burgers? Yeah, I'm a, yeah. So these are like I'm about having fun. Three little sculptures at this point. Putting the tops on. Put their tops on. They're good little girls. And there it is. So I'm gonna 
tie sliders. Tie sliders. So we're gonna hold up here. So it's kind of a play because it's like hot teriyaki, tie sliders. Exactly. You got that alliteration. Uh, but they look pretty amazing. Now, I'm gonna try one of these. Are you gonna try one of these? Yeah, okay. I'm sure he wants one. And we're gonna let our, our cameraman Matt come in here. You can you wanna try one? Sure, why not? That is the perfect slider. But you know what? I'm not one to bury the taste of the burger and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. You still get the taste of that meat. That's just awesome. Yeah, the, it's a very good product. Yeah. That you, bucket meat remind me again, what are the ingredients in that burger again? Uh, it's short rib, uh, chuck. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Jason. This is yeah. great. Awesome. Oh, jeez. So you guys definitely, at some point, Come out to Oblivion. You guys always have great burgers. Now they're trying out sliders. Come out sometime, check out one of the events. You guys have always have the event calendar up, look them up on Facebook. Especially if you live in the Orlando area, you want to check this stuff out. Awesome. Thank you, man.